Whether you've clicked this video because you're looking to set up your very first Shopify sale or you're looking for the most optimal way to actually leverage the discount options inside of Shopify, in today's video, I'm going to be showing the three discount formats that are native to Shopify, talk about the pros and cons of each, explain when it's best to use each type of discount, and if you stick all the way to the end, I will be taking you through our agency's end-to-end -end sales setup that we have used to help clients generate over $10 million in revenue on Shopify. What's going on everyone, it's Spencer here. And if you're new to the channel, I run a growth focus agency by the name of EZA Media. And at our agency, we help brands with purpose accelerate their growth and an awesome way to actually accelerate a brand's growth, short term that is, is by leveraging discounting options on Shopify to ultimately get more sales. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to be diving deep into the three main types of discounts that are native to Shopify. So to avoid a long intro and just get straight to the point, let's go ahead and jump into the screen. All right. So as you can see, we're now in the screen and I'm just in a test development store here on Shopify. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping into obviously the discount section here. Now, before I talk about the three different types of discounts that you can run, the main thing that I want to call out is obviously you need to figure out what type of discount that you you actually want to have on your store. Now, when it comes to discount codes on Shopify, you can either have amount off products, which is this a specific amount off products or collections of products. You can have a buy X, get Y, which is basically just discounts based off of a customer's purchase. You can have an entire amount off order, which is just an entire order amount, no matter what you actually add. And then we actually have a free shipping discount, which is of course just free shipping. But what I'm gonna be talking about today is actually the three different functionalities around each of these discount codes. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and do an amount off products discount code, which is typically the most common one. And that's going to bring us to discount number one, which is going to be called a manual discount code. Now a manual discount code is great for things like abandoned cart emails. It's great for giving discount codes to influencers. Cause for example, if you're giving them hundred percent off something, obviously you just want a manual code that only they can use. It's also great for any kind of like VIP or secret sale. And in general, I typically like using manual discount codes codes if we're just trying to provide a discount code to a select amount of people. Now, when it comes to manual discount codes, there's a few cons. And one of those main cons is the fact that people actually have to remember the code and they have to actually manually apply it at checkout in order for it to actually apply to their order. On top of that, it also doesn't show in the cart. So for example, if you say, hey, get this 10% off and go back to your cart, unless you use a specific URL, which I'm actually going to give you, it won't actually show the discount code until they get all the way to checkout or until they actually apply it at checkout. At the end of the day, it's just more work for the user. And typically whenever you have to force the user to do more, it's not really great for conversions. So that's why when it comes to manual discount codes, you only want to use them if it's kind of a secret code that you don't want other people using. And with that said, I will actually give you our coupon code generator. There's going to be a link to this down underneath the video where if you just punch in your URL and you punch in the manual discount, it will actually give you a special link that will auto apply this discount code as soon as they get into checkout. And depending on your theme, it also might apply in the cart. And this is also now your friendly reminder to subscribe to this channel if you want more awesome sheets like this. Now, if we actually get back into Shopify, of course, when it comes to manual discount codes, you have to type a code. So for example, hello 10 is a discount code. You can obviously give it a specific percentage. And then of course, you can choose whether or not this applies to products or if this actually applies to everything. So I obviously just have a random test product here. And then this is where you can play around with the minimum purchase requirements. So for example, if you have other areas on your store, or there's just a certain minimum, you know, quantity of items. So say, for example, the 10% off only applies if you buy two or more. So you could add some kind of minimum there, but we typically don't add minimum requirements. Another thing that you can do as well is you can segment your customers. Now, this is something that you actually have to do deeper and you can basically select one of these here, which is like customers who have purchased more than once. If you want to exclude previous customers, you can. We rarely do that. Obviously, if we're only doing like a new customer, customer order or like a new customer discount code. And obviously we will segment those customers. Maximum discount uses. This is obviously just a number of discount codes. So for example, if you, you know, are sending free products and you create a coupon code, that's like free 100 for Spencer or free Spencer. Obviously you just want to make sure people can only use that once because you don't want that creator or that person that you send it to, to, you know, share it with people. That's what maximum discount uses is. And then of course, combinations, what I was talking about at the beginning, you can also combine this with shipping discounts or other order discounts or other product discount codes to also allow people to essentially stack coupons. Now, definitely be careful with this. 
just because obviously people can start to add a lot of discount codes. But for the most part, we typically just recommend combining this with shipping discount codes. Cause if you're giving someone like a free shipping code and a hello 10 code, whatever it is, like just having them apply is obviously going to be a good thing to do depending on your margins and what you want. And then of course, when it comes to discount codes, if you just want to leave it active and have it start right away, you can obviously just select the start date as today and just click save discount code and you're good to go. But you can also schedule discount code. So let's just say this is email blast that's going to go out on Friday. So I would set this to be live, you know, Friday, or if I wanted to be safe, we'll be like, all right, it's going live Thursday. And then you can say, hey, there's a limited time. This discount code ends at midnight next Friday. So you have to use it by then. Now, again, when it comes to abandoned cart emails, there's also a lot of apps that can create custom discount codes for you. But for the most part, this is how you set up an end to end manual discount code. Now, the second type of discount code that we're going to cover is going to be an automatic discount code. Now, an automatic discount code is by far my number one recommendation when it comes to launching some kind of site wide sale or launching any kind of big sale, Black Friday, and we just had Valentine's Day, if you have a spring sale coming up, any kind of site wide sale, this is the time to use an automatic discount code because it is so much more effective. Now, why is this automatic discount code so much more effective? That's because it auto applies to every single person that checks out with whatever the discount is actually applied to. So for example, if you're just doing a site wide 20% off, you don't have to worry about manually marking things down or creating specific coupon codes and having people add those coupon codes at checkout. If you create an automatic discount code, it will just apply to every single order, no matter what. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, this streamlines the entire process. And another perk of this as well is it actually shows the discount code in the cart. So when people add to the cart, it says you're saving this much. And if you add a little bit more custom code, you can actually summarize all of that as well. That's a huge thing that we do for our clients. But with that said, there are a few cons to automatic discount codes. Uh, the main one is the fact that if people were going to buy without the discount code, then obviously they're going to get the discount code. Now there's a lot of people that we see, Hey, use this code on the website. And then they purchase regardless. But at the end of the day, if you're running a sale, like, you know, it's just good customer service to make sure people actually get the sale, right? You know, when you walk into some kind of store or you're shopping at the mall, people are like, Hey, by the way, this rack is, you know, buy two for 20 or whatever it is, right? Like if you're running some kind of promo, just make sure your customer actually gets it. Now, another con with this kind of similar to the manual coupon code is that this actually doesn't show on the product page. So for example, if your product is a hundred dollars and you're saying, Hey, site wide 20% off, if you land on that page, it won't actually show that it's $80. Cause again, obviously it's 20% off unless you add some kind of custom code, which is something that our team does do. But with that said, by using an automatic discount code, it doesn't show it on the actual product page, which again, isn't a massive thing, but it definitely does help overall conversion rates from what we've seen. But if we're comparing running a site wide sale with a manual discount code where the person has to remember it at checkout, and there are definitely drop off rates for when people forget the code at checkout, and then they just abandon the checkout, or they somehow land into the checkout, and they think they're getting a sale, and then they forgot the code, and they, they realize that maybe they made an order without the code, automatic discount codes solve all of those problems. All right, so when it comes to setting up an automatic discount code, you're simply just going to select automatic discount code. And as it says here, customers will see this at checkout. So again, the use cases for this are typically, you know, big site wide sales that you're running. So let's just say we're doing a spring 20 sale, it's $20 off. And let's just say it applies to, you know, all collections or specific collections, you can set it up however you want. Now, this tick box here is going to be very important, because as it says, only apply discount once per order. What this means is that if this is not selected, the $20 off will be taken off each eligible item in an order. So if you have 20 different products, if you diselect this, someone will be able to get $20 off every single product in that collection. But if you do select this, then it's just saying you get $20 off one of the items. Okay, so that's what this only apply discount once per order means. Now inside of here, you obviously need to set a minimum purchase amount. So you can set this to a minimum purchase amount. If you're giving $20 off, then spend at least $30, right? So a minimum purchase amount is obviously something that you want to add there. In regards to combinations, it's the exact same thing as the manual discount code. And then in regards to start date, this is something that you're probably going to want to set this time because as soon as you save this discount code, it will automatically be live on your store and everybody will just start getting $20 off their order. So if you're not planning on launching the sale until Monday the 11th, make sure you do that. And then again, make sure you set the time so that it goes live midnight basically. And then the end date, you can set that to whatever it is. And we're back. So now we have spring fun 20. We're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, and the reason why I couldn't do that is because I had another one live so I could show you. But for example, this has now been scheduled. But now if we actually load up the live site here and we add this product to cart, you can see that the discount code is automatically applied inside the cart, which is awesome. It makes it very clear that, you know, the person 
description has the discount code applied. And it's obviously just a very, very great way to streamline everything in regards to site-wide sales. Now, the third and final discount type that you can use on Shopify is going to be called a manual markdown. A manual markdown is actually done on the product level. Now, if you are a brand that has a lot of SKUs, obviously what I'm about to show you is going to be absolutely insane. So if you have a ton of SKUs, basically you either need to download some kind of app to help you do this in bulk, or you can just use an automatic discount code. It will be much simpler. But with that said, you can actually go in and then discount your products by using the compare at price and obviously going in and updating the actual price. So let's just say we wanted to do a spring 20 sale where people are saving $20 off. We would then obviously update the price to the $20 off, which would be $80. And then as you can see in here, the compare at price, we would move it over to a hundred. Now, a lot of brands, even though they're not running sales, typically use this compare at price functionality, but it's also a great way when you're running sales to just go in and manually mark down your products. So if we jump back into the screen and we actually save this here, you'll be able to see now on the product page, once I go ahead and reload, you can see the hundred dollars crossed out to the 80. It says sale. Now, again, with this, if we add this to cart, because we're not using a discount code, we're going to come across our first con, which is the fact that it actually doesn't say that you're saving anything. And if you're wanting people to see how much they're saving, obviously, unless you add some kind of custom code or depending on what theme functionality you have, people won't actually be able to see that they have any kind of discount code actually applied. So that's why the only times we typically recommend using a manual markdown is if you have some kind of clearance section or some kind of area on your website where you just have product to get rid of, you can just go in and manually mark it down. On top of that, again, by manually marking it down, it automatically applies to everyone similar to the automatic discount code. Make sure that everybody actually gets the sales price. With that said, some of the cons is obviously if you have a lot of different SKUs, marking down all of your products can be an absolute headache. And again, it won't actually show the amount of savings that are in the cart because it's just pulling the actual price from Shopify. You also can automatically turn this off and on. You have to go in and either close your site and put a banner on your site and say, hey, we're preparing for a sale. And you have to go in and then re-update the pricing afterwards. So all in all, when it comes to manual markdowns, they definitely are a little bit more manual, hence the name, but they can be very effective for specific sections on your store. Or if you just want to go in and manually mark down some of your products and run a sale that way. So with all of that said, those are the three types of discounts that we use on Shopify. And now if you've waited all the way to the end, I'm going to walk you through our end to end sales process to show you exactly how we run sales for our clients. So here is our wonderful client over at life in. And the first thing that you'll notice is that we update the website to actually call out the sale. So for example, in this instance, we are running a woman's day sale. We are very clearly putting in the announcement bar and putting in our CTAs that you can save up to 40% during this sale. Now, if we go ahead and click through, you'll be able to see again, it is aligned with everything that we are doing. So save up to 40% off women's day deals. This client is actually leveraging manual markdowns right now. And for them in particular, it works extremely well because of the fact that we are able to add a bunch of custom code. So for example, as you can see here, we're manually marking it down. We're showing the price slash. We're also calling out the deal and when it ends, adding that real sense of urgency to get people to take action as obviously this sale ends quickly. Again, we've got the updated price here in the cart. And as we add it to cart, we've added extra code in here for us to be able to call out the discount and how much people are saving. And then on top of that, we also add and call out right above the CTA, how much the person is saving because people love to see how much they're saving, especially when a sale is going on. So whenever you're running some kind of sale, I would highly recommend investing and in getting some custom code done up to showcase this. But all in all, with that said, as you can see from starting on the actual homepage or the landing page, going into the collection page, everything is congruent, right? We've got save up to 40%. Well, here's one where we're saving $80. We've got the urgency. We're calling it out. We're showing the savings. Most importantly, make sure the customers aren't doing math. And again, we're transferring that all the way through to the checkout so people can see how much they're saving and that they're getting a great deal. And if you take action and model this type of sales strategy for your company, I can quite literally guarantee that you will make a boatload of sales. Well, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's video. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is that you click the share button down below and send this to someone else who you also think could get value. And if you happen to run a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand and you're looking for a team to help you grow this year, I'd highly recommend that you grab a time with me down below. And if you're interested in getting closer with me, you can join my school community down below, which is totally free. And there are some awesome modules in there that will help you learn a little bit more about Shopify growth and everything that we do at our agency. With all of that said, again, thank you so much.
so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you next week.